it's me and this is random breakout crazy donut ball season yep yep apparently they're bringing back city of wizards as a normal breakout in the next update so i'm actually kind of looking forward to that um i'm not too sure uh, let's just anyhow click one let me close my eyes and okay jellies then well who are you nah yeah hoot me all you want but I will never be fooled by your evil plans, Meister. I know what's behind that since the smell of yours. Yes. <coughs> Oopsies. I don't know why, my throat is kinda itchy. I don't know, I think maybe it's cause I eat cheese sticks or something. They sold those but I never got to eat them warm which is a shame, I tell you. A crying shame. But well, I ate them cold. And they didn't taste very good. They tasted better than wholemeal bread would have, so. You know what? It's great. I love it. Bread is great and good, and I like bread, don't you think? Anyways, apparently the Lupus update is coming about, well, tomorrow, you know? Today is the 26th of April, so tomorrow will be the 27th, you know, 1 plus 1, 26 plus 1. Um, I'm kind of, I'm really looking forward to it, actually, not kind of. Like, I really, really, really look forward to it. Like, I just love Lotus so much, man. Come on. I might even make a dedicated video to just, like... I don't know, man. Maybe just reading out his story? I don't know. Usually, I don't really do, like, cookie cut scenes or whatever. Since those are kind of boring and they take kind of long and... I haven't been catching up with the stories in a while, I'll be honest with you. Mostly because I'm tired of Ginger Brave getting a bit too overpower if go I mean you know like I get plot armor but like it's a bit much man you know I really love Mr. Lotus though he's the best um Hydrangea getting a new scrapbook skin is pretty cool too she's very pretty honestly normally also <gasps> no oh, oh thank god oh my god I thought I was gonna miss that all right 17th place. It's not that bad, it's not that good, but it's alright in the end. Since we aren't here to win... Oh, nah. How about this? Maybe? Yeah, let's get you then. Especially since I already have a buff for yellow bear jellies, this would be good. Who are you? Take this for you. Ah, <gasps> Providence for all I'm sharing for you? Milk cookies, so nice. Run a bit. The. Okay. I'll take it as it is. You know, it's fine. It's cool, man. I... Well, it's cool. I've got nothing much else to say about it. It's cool. One, two. Yeah, it's lagging so bad right now. It's lagging so bad right now. Did I say that? Yes, I did. Jesus. Uh, fix your game, cookie run. Or whatever. You're trying. I also like how, like, they just released such a good update. Straight after the disaster that was your car. Which is some next level marketing if you tell me. Or planning, I'm not really sure. I mean yoga car was a disaster, but they're kinda just like side blinding us with all this new stuff about Lotus. Hey man, you know, if you're racist you just gotta throw fancy things at a problem that doesn't exist anymore, man. Social commentary, baby, you know I'm kidding. But actually I really do like Lotus. Lotus is really cool. Have I mentioned how much I like Lotus? Probably not. Probably not enough. Oh yeah. I like Lotus. Lotus is great and fun and so cool and I like his design so much. Their design. The fact that they are non-binary actually makes me happier since I'm also... Well, yeah. I also identify as that. Just really cool. I mean, I personally don't care what people call me. But like, I like to refer to myself as just like something in between, you know. That's why sometimes I call myself a guy or a gal, or I just don't refer to myself that way. I mean, it might be a bit confusing and you know, if you really can't understand it, then it's okay. I mean, I'm not gonna force it upon anybody, honestly. It's kind of just a personal thing, you know. Mr. Lotus, Mr. Lotus, yes, there we go, bonus time. I really, really love his like legendary skin dog oh my god it looks so pretty like honestly if i didn't have such trashy art skills i would actually like probably attempt making fan art of them but 
Look at those dragon cookies, they're so cool. Alright. Come on, that 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 color scheme and the whole legendary thing, it makes it so much more better. Oh. Just plain talking about design and all. I'm not talking about the game yet though. I haven't forgotten my DSC, Mr. Cookie Run. Oh yeah. I love it. I love it. Come on, it takes one way to make one sugar crystal. It's not It's not normal, alright. Come on. One, two, please don't hit yourself. One, two, there we go. How does it like so much around the area? Well, who knows, I guess. Oh yeah, fun thing, but like, you know that event and concert, concert I was talking about a few episodes back? Well, we got the results back recently and I'm... I guess my team, my choir got distinction, which is cool. I quite like it. If we didn't get distinction, I guess that would be fine too, but I guess a little bit disappointing. Because we did spend a lot of time practicing. I mean, sure. No, it's not always expected that you always get the results you're looking for. But at the same time, getting distinction was... I mean, I feel pretty good about it, you know? You know? I think anybody would, man. I wouldn't say I'm super excited about it, but like... How do you call it? If I had to describe my feeling, it would probably be like more of a... I expected to get distinction. Mostly because my conductor is pretty... She's very good. I think she's world you know or something? I don't know man. I can't remember. I just know that she's very very good. And I mean she did try her harder so so. And I guess it wouldn't be very fun to see the kids get upset over not getting distinction, you know. Like say what you will about me not caring but like I mean it's a team effort, yeah. It's like if I lose then the kids will probably also lose too, so it's not great. I mean, if I win, you know, at least, like, they are help. You're seeing them. You're so excited. Sunlight Rose Gardens, here we go. Come on, come on, pet, please, pet. Okay, thank you very much. I quite appreciate that. Let's go home. Oh, one, two. No! No last skill activation. But that's okay. We are 20, 20 of this time. So that's cool. Who are you? Actually, the cookies I'll be cheering for you, you can do it. Thank you. Red buffs, you know, combi drafts. Um, this is either a good thing or a bad thing. Well, I don't know if... Oh, never mind. It's... Oh, okay. Well, that's interesting to say the least. Hmm, hmm, hmm. What do I... Okay, I'll take you then. I originally wanted the fire blast buff from the beginning, but like... I was a bit leery at the fact that I got like 3 rares in a row So I wasn't super sure if like Cheerleaders like whole event actually automatically gave you all Rare cookies All rare cookies as like a combi choice or, or if it was just my luck acting up again, you know Come speed, there we go 1, 2, yep Right, right door Let's break this rock and we punch through. <gasps> oh no, I missed that. Oopsies. One, two. Oh dear, I can already see the lag being a bit, a bit annoying. Yes, to say the least. Good gosh, laggy lag. Um, one, two. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two. Come. I'm not sure really about my audience, but I know that 70% of you are males, which is fun. I'm nothing against guys, nor do I have anything against girls, but like, it would be cool if I could reach a 50-50. I don't know how other people's analytics, so maybe that's normal? And I mean, you can't really trust the statistics either ways because, well, yeah. It's kind of like how that thing works, like in online games. Even if you're female, you can't openly address yourself as female because things will happen you know hey sexual harassment anyone it's so fun and cool to be a guy right hush y'all seriously should learn some manners man you no know, take care of a lady don't go harass her oh dear it seems that this fire blast jelly is not quite the boon that i expected it to be Gosh, seems I missed so many rose petals down there. I could finish the mission earlier. Then again, maybe it doesn't really matter. I don't know. Come, there we go. 
Alright, I guess it is fine anyways. It doesn't matter that much. Come, come. Wolf Combi. Oh my dear, it's you. 150,000 destruction points. Not bad, not bad. I'll take you then, my dear. There we go. Let's play with Cherry. Let's play. I know fun game. That's cool. I wanna have fun too. I have an overload of sunlight, but not enough of 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 meaning in life. If you get what I mean, or just fun. I mean, there's no need to have new fun, you know. Ah, gosh, damn it! I shouldn't have done that. It's a bit worrying. Who oh dear? One two. Do I have a tendency to get unnecessarily political? Yes. Do I also blurt out whatever's on my mind regardless of the situation? Um, so yeah, so... Ah, uh, that, ah, uh, gosh. I missed that too. Watermelon is missing. Oopsies, I quickly forgot about that. Come on. Let's go. Bonus time, let's go. I'll have to replay this again, I guess. Replay it better, that's for sure. Let's go into Paprika at the bookshop. Since we went to the top secret research lab the last time. Paprika attic. I wonder what an attic looks like. Hmm. Probably shady. With all sorts of secrets lingering in corners. Ah, what's that thing? Poking out from a corner of the eye. Oh no, it's a box. To be for mentors of your dead grandparents, their joys, their sorrows, emptied into a little nice box for you. Well, who knows, man? Maybe one day I'll have an outing. Can't really see that happening though. Come on, let's replay again. Hopefully, I'll get better score this time. I don't want to talk about it. Anyways, fifth combi, let's go. Fifth combi, fifth combi. Oh. Oh, okay. Just had to get 15, huh? Who would have known? Alright, let's have you get guess. It's a surprisingly large amount of epic buffs, but alright then. Let's go. Stop thinking about thinking to stop thinking. I mean, I guess that works, you know. It's not that thing where it's like, it's impossible for you to not think, you know. Apparently, there are people who don't have inner voices, which is so weird to me, you know. Like... Like that's for me at least the true definition of just being completely and like unattainably on like a different level from someone else. Like you two are just so different where it's just impossible to reconcile the difference, you know. Like even if you try your best. Because for me it's just impossible. Like how could you not have an inner voice, you know? Like how could you not have an and 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 in a voice or something, I just, I don't know. But to me, something so alien to them is also like, well, normal, you know? Like to them, I'm the weird one. Because I think so much, you know? And it's weird. I mean, not everybody just wakes up in the morning or like just does some sort of minor mistake and then have their first thoughts be like, oh my god, today's a great day to die, you know? Like, not everybody's like that. But for me, it's normal. How, how do other people not have that kind of thing? So it's kind of just really like lived experience. Like, I just really can't understand it, you know? And not in a bad way, you know? Honestly, I just mean in the sense that I, I could never comprehend how an ant would probably sense the world, you know? Or how a snake would feel being placed in a refrigerator. I mean, oh uh, yeah. You know, I mean, there's sometimes there's just some sort of difference that just cannot be reconciled. And, I mean, that difference isn't a bad thing, you know, it's what makes us different. And what makes us us. But I personally find it so interesting. It would be great if I could just, you know, simply become a snake and then understand what it is they feel. You know, not about anything else, but just pure curiosity. Like, what is it like to not be me, you know? I mean, no matter how much you claim to, I think it's probably impossible for anybody to, like, really so-called understand someone else in the sense that you just cannot be someone else, you know? Wait. Okay, there we go. Ah, oh, jeez. 
Okay, anyways. And I don't know why I went on that tension, but... Um, long story short, I guess. I just want to be able to try what it's like to be something else, to be someone else. Maybe for just pure learning experience or not. I just want to do it. And anyways, to celebrate Mr. Lotus coming update, I shall choose him. Cause he's, he's my pretty man, my pretty, my pretty lotus. Hehe, <laughs> he's my cuteness. At least I have my mandolin. Of course you do, my dear. Music is good and great and too compli complicated for me to understand. But it's great if you like it, that's cool. Yay! Bear jellies and a bonus time. Recently, the other day I read somewhere that pigeons actually aren't that dirty as you think them to be you know we should be kinder to pigeons or something technically speaking like i've been i know that people mostly just see pigeons as urban animals you know like just urbanites you know they're just always present you know omnipresent they never leave they're always there but if you were to say take them out of a city you know the cities that we humans have squeezed pigeons into then a pigeon would choose to live on a rocky ledge or a cliff because that's where they usually make their nests which makes sense but also just kind of feels weird to me for some reason i don't know why i guess it's just like my conception of pigeons is so warped because i always see them as like these kind of pests or creatures or i mean i don't see a pest so much as like I mean, I'm sure my uh, local community center definitely finds them as pests. You know, we have callings once in a while, I remember. And there's those like specific posters where it's like, they'll find you a few hundred dollars if you catch you feeding pigeons or something. Because that promotes, um, you know, their congregation around these areas. But I mean, it's elderly people, I don't know what you expect out of them. I'm just gonna feed the pigeons anyways. But yeah, to think of it, yeah, the pigeon really was well, a wild animal, I guess. I mean, it's just so hard to think about, you know. Like, these guys lived on their own, you know, like, they didn't live in cities. I don't, I don't know, man. Maybe I'm too narrow-minded for this kind of thing or whatever, but pigeons, pigeons that are not in a city, it's weird, especially since they've like used to be messenger pigeons and all, like the pink doved ones, I don't know. So it's like, pigeons have been with us from just ages past, you know? So it's really hard to imagine life like just completely without them as an urbanite, you know? I mean, maybe in a rural area it would be rare to see pigeons. But then again, I, I, I do live in Singapore and I don't have any money to travel anywhere, so... Who knows, who knows? Maybe this isn't as mind-blowing to other people as it is to me, specifically. Which honestly is understandable. I mean, you guys have seasons, man. Come on. Seasons. Like snow. What the heck? You guys have snow. It isn't constantly like sunny all the time and torrid. But who knows? I should have thinking too much out of my death here today. Should probably stop that. If not, I'm just gonna get tired out thinking about it. Ah sure, let's give you then, Mr. Audrey. Since it specs up pretty well with our buffs. Two sixteen thousand sixteen plus sixteen equals to thirty two yeah, kinda. Probably. I don't know. My math isn't the greatest. Understatement of the year, but eh, eh. I press slide there, that's not normal, hey hey. But sure. There we go. I like Christmas. It's fun to see other people celebrate Christmas. Unless you got no money to celebrate Christmas, which is fun also. 
Hey, hey. I mean, I've been pretty fortunate, you know, that I managed to get a present this year. Is it still counted as this year? At the, at the end of last year? Yeah. At the end of 2022. I got to give some some people, which was cool. I like it. Because before that, we held off on like celebrating Christmas because we had not enough money to. You got to get gifts and all. I mean, it doesn't help that during the holiday season, like, like sure, man, although they say they're having Christmas discounts or everything, you just know it's actually more expensive than how it usually is. Like, isn't it like a, f- a false price markup or something? You know, like for Black Friday, some sellers will purposely raise, like, the prices of their wares so that when Black Friday comes, they can so-called discount it and like fool their consumer into a sense of oh my god i'm saving money by doing this and they're actually not and in fact before the black friday sale they probably couldn't have gotten that item for cheaper somehow which is cool they probably have laws against it in singapore but i mean i wouldn't be surprised if even if they knew they wouldn't do anything about it since it makes them money you know i suppose it's all about pleasing corporate here. Yeah. Oh well. Let's not think about that depressing stuff and let's move on. Actually, is that really depressing compared to all the other stuff I've talked about on this channel? I don't know. Just that every time I look at politics, it's kind of just sad. Like really just sad and nothing else, you know. Hush. <gasps> oh no, I missed the HP one too. There we go. Although we missed that HP spot earlier. Oh jeez, we missed so many. Yikes. Why don't I just replay uh, just for the fun of it? Maybe, maybe, maybe I might get a high score. But who knows? Just have to try a luck then. Nah, never mind. I hit myself against the obstacle and died. So that's that. Alright. Se- oh, 8th combi, never mind. Ah, it really goes by quickly, huh? Sure. Oh, what's this? Oh, Miss, 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 what's her name? Cherry Ball. Oh, yeah. Surprisingly enough. This is turning to a destruction run at this point, man. Q, we can do it. Yes, we can. Miss Cherry Ball. There we go. I mean, she may not be meta or whatever, but like, her skill is actually pretty satisfying if you think about it. I think it's the little red beans that pop out every time she finishes. I personally think it's kind of cute. You know, especially the way they just gravitate towards Cherry Ball. 1, 2, 3, 4. Step on the HP platforms. There we go. Come, we almost finished our mission. We just need one more photo memory. And there we go. We've completed it. Yep, yep, yep. Now, it probably would have been better to choose um, Lime just now. Especially because her, I would say, bear jelly buff is more applicable to our run and say, uh, epic destruction run. But like, you know, the epic is rarer. So here we go, I guess. I like shinies and rarities and an epic is rarer than a rare. Who would have known? So of course I chose the epic. Even if it wouldn't really have helped in this run. I mean, I still like it anyways. There we go. One, one, two. One, one, two, one, two. Okay, there we go. Just gotta be a bit careful here. Especially since it's a bit of speed up due to the treasure. And... <gasps> I sh- Never mind it. It's okay, it's okay. Well, okay, let's come on. One, one, two. One, two, three. There we go. Good. Good, good, good. Managed to get the skill in time. Let's go. One, two, last jump. There we go. Wow, almost 500. That's actually very good, huh? Press the OK button next, then let's go for 90 combi. Um, oh yeah, we finished the mission. It's cool, man. Who do I want here? <gasps> okay, Tiramisu. Look at those treasures! Very good, very good. Not only is that buff applicable to the ones we have right now, 
like his treasure which gives you more points for pink bear jellies which we have loads of here super great too i love it you're really fortunate here huh one two three four five one two oh uh, yeah i thought it's gonna hit that obstacle for a moment there whoosh okay hey hey there we go one two three four one two three four one one two three four and then let's make it over this gap here come come there we go honestly though it's quite surprising it's such an applicable type of treasure as well as the buffs that he gave me it's cool i don't quite like it honestly there we go one two three four you've been doing surprisingly well in the random breakout run so far and i'm not too sure why either well something bad's gonna happen cause of it i suppose but i mean isn't but i mean even if it causes me to suddenly come down with the flu or something i mean it was not that bad you know getting to play random breakout with good buffs like this it's pretty fun actually being able to just score it a bit higher once in a while yeah i'll have to replay this later just for the funsies you know and also there's always a bit of rng involved especially with this kind of buff so it will be worth it to try again i'll just have to let you know what the results are okay. one two there we go oh i forgot i had this buff cool one two three four five six ayo okay that's pretty good second place quite like it thank you tiramisu there we go 556 million a teeny little bit more than the last one or because i fell into a hole or something and then increase the pets time for the skill to activate maybe i don't know or maybe i just got better rng who knows man well let's see if this run goes as well then there we go see 568 there's a teensy little bit more hey 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 small steps but it culminates into a big big oh snake fruit huh all right then i'll choose you my dear snake fruit ah uh, random new okay sure um i guess that works too you know it's not that bad of a treasure i'll be honest snake fruit's treasures i mean the first two are good you know the last one isn't really applicable to what i have right now but it's fine you know you don't always get a perfect fit in life but you can still make do with what you have can you mm. one two Ay. Ayya, why are you like that come come let's go snake fruit show us the conquest for victory and a last four power one two three four five six seven eight nine ten don't fall into the holes again please okay there we go come destroy the obstacles for me one two three four five six okay there we go i just got a time out jump so we can get the little remover jellies all right there we go freedom what do you think of freedom do you like it i like freedom i like freedom what is freedom? I don't... Oh no. Okay, wait. No. You know what? Pretend I didn't say that. It's gonna be an annoying question to deal with right now and I, my mind can't take it. Philosophy. Only when smart people take philosophy and I am not a smart person. Alright. One, two. I play cookie run. Come on. Oven break. There we go. I wonder if we'll be able to break 500 million. Possibly? If I don't mess up too bad, that is. Until let's go. Come on, give me the speed, will ya? No, no? Alright, fine. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Hey, yeah. I keep forgetting that revival buff is there. 1, 2, 3. There we go. 1, 2, 600 million. Kinda unexpected to be honest. 
I don't think it's even possible to beat the first place. What what did the first place get? 687. Actually no, that's kind of possible. But only if I try like really hard. Come on. Just put 30 million points off if I just try. Maybe I might make it. I mean who knows? My buffs are pretty. Okay, never mind, let's just try. One last time. If you don't get it, it's fine. If you do get it, let's go. Cool. Alright, let's go. Aish, there we go. Well, it's a far cry from what we once held, but it's honestly pretty good. So I can't really complain. Anyways, we are at number 2. A pretty good run today. I say thank you to our comrades who ran with us too. And thanks for watching. Love ya.